Welcome to this fifth video in the series on the PicoCalc computer. In the last video we had difficulties getting my microphone to pick up the sound coming out of the PicoCalc. To combat this I've attached an external speaker. Hopefully my microphone should be able to pick this up better. We are, as in the last video, using CoolTerm to connect to our PicoCalc to allow us to use the main computer to communicate with it. So let's now attempt to replay the WAV file we had in the last video. seems to be playing reasonably well. We'd also demonstrated in previous videos the ability to load bitmap images. However, on the PicoCal 2 you can also load both JPEGs and PNG files. As you can see here, we've now loaded a JPEG file onto the top of our screen. One of the options on the load image command, either for JPEGs, PNGs or bitmaps, is the location to which you wish to place the image on the screen. In this case we're loading it to the coordinates 0, 80. And as you can see this loads further down the screen. One caveat on loading JPEG files Progressive JPEG images are not supported. The Progressive JPEG is an interlaced image that first renders the image line by line, from top to bottom. It loads in low quality and then progressively renders with successive passes until the image displays in full resolution. Progressive JPEG images were used much in the early days of the internet when bandwidth was restricted and it allowed the positioning of the image and part of the image to be shown to the user before it was fully loaded. Very few websites still use progressive JPEG images. So it's understandable that the PicoCalc does not support them. MMBasic also supports the use of the font command. There are 8 different font sizes we can use in our PicoCalc. If we use font 2 and print to the coordinates 1040 on the screen, We'll get a larger font appearing. We can return this to normal by using the font1 command. And we're back to our normal font size. You can also change the colour on screen by using the colour RGB command. This takes values between 0 and 255 for each of the three colours. And we've now switched to blue. And we can switch it back to green by using RGB with 255 as the green value. In the previous video we looked at small amounts of code. We're now going to load a function which is designed to display the date of Easter Sunday in any year. And if we list this application on screen, we can see our application is now on the screen. It's using the input command to prompt the user to enter a year. We're then printing out the year the user has entered. And next we're printing out the text Easter Sunday is followed by the name of a function and then the end command. While you can use line numbers in this version of BASIC you can get away quite easily without using them at all. In this case we have defined a function taking a numeric parameter and returning a string. And the calculation in here is to calculate the month and date of Easter. And the value is returned by the name of the function being equal to, in this case, the month name plus the value of the date. If we now attempt to run this application from the PicoCalc, it will prompt us for the year and it will return 
the value Easter Sunday is April the 5th. So this application demonstrates two things. First of all, we're using the input command to prompt the user for a numeric value. Secondly, it demonstrates we do not need to use line numbers to get MMBasic to operate. And that allows the creation of proper functions with parameters and return values. So with all computers, one thing you will want to do is to back up your code. At the moment, our code is sitting in memory. We can save this code to the SD card by using the save command. And of course, it being an SD card, you can remove it from the PicoCalc and back it up to another computer. However, you can also use the xmodem send command. This can be used to trigger the PicoCalc to send a file to your connected computer. If we type in xmodem send and then the enter and then go back up to our option on the connection menu to receive a file select our destination and we will put our file into this location on our main computer. And there we have the transmission successfully completed. A question raised by one of our subscribers was can you play sound while our image loads on the startup? We can load a new application. Don't panic, wave.bass. If we have a look at that application we made a minor change to this. We're playing a WAV file immediately before the load image command. The WAV file will be started on the play WAV command and will continue even though we're loading the image. If we try running this now... And there we have a WAV file playing while the image loads. So in summary what we've done today is we've used the xmodem send command to send basic files from the local PicoCalc to a connected computer. We've demonstrated the use of a application to prompt the user for a year and return a specific date. We've also covered the use of the font command and the color RGB command. We've used the load JPG command to load an image to a particular location on screen. This works for both JPEGs and PNG files as well as bitmaps. And we've also used the play wave command to demonstrate the playing of a wave file on an external speaker. Hopefully you'll find these commands useful when you're programming your own PicoCalc. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.